the director of the controversial documentary called India's Daughter has left India because of concerns for her safety. She's now in London. Her film examines the gang rape and murder of a 23-year-old woman on a bus in Delhi. The BBC broadcast it last night. Other broadcasters globally are going to do the same in the days to come. And it has brought a storm of controversy in India because of comments made by one of the rapists about his victim. Here's some of that as we take a look at an excerpt of India's daughter. अगर कोई शरीफ लड़की होती है रात को नौ बजे मतलब नहीं होती है लड़के भी उतने उससे ज़्यादा ज़िम्मेदार हैं रेप के लिए ये लड़के हैं उससे ज़्यादा there are the incendiary comments, and that is part of the documentary. So now Ayed, our reporter, is actually in India, in New Delhi, and covering this story for us, among other things, on the ground. But let's talk about the uh, the controversy that surrounds that. As I mentioned, the BBC broadcast last night, a contentious decision to air it. Tell us a little bit about the film itself and the controversy. Well, as you said, this is a documentary that's been long in the making that takes another look at that horrific incident about two years ago where a young woman was gang raped and uh, later died because of her injuries that essentially was, I think many people here would agree, was a watershed moment for women in this country. There's a great deal of outrage and, and anger over that attack and several protests largely by women were mounted at the time because uh, of, of what happened and because of demands uh, for the laws to be changed. Now, the most contentious aspect is the one you mentioned, and that is the interview with Mukesh Singh. He is one of the four men who were convicted and sentenced to death, in fact, for their participation in this attack. He was interviewed a couple of years ago, and now it will be appearing or is appearing in this documentary. As you mentioned, he has said things that have outraged people here, in fact, around the world. He said that... Um, the victim should not have fought the rape, that perhaps she might have survived if she hadn't. He said that girls are more responsible for rape than boys, and you can imagine that those kinds of uh, commentary have made people quite angry here. H however, the fact that the government has banned this documentary from uh, the airwaves here has received a mixed reaction. Obviously, many people here concerned about India's reputation and saying that the documentary perhaps might sully that reputation. Others, though, saying that it shouldn't be shown because the legal process continues in this case. In fact, those four men uh, have appealed to the Supreme Court uh, for the death sentence, and that procedure is not over. And some feel that legally, this man should not have been uh, allowed to speak from jail until this legal proceeding is over. So quite a mixed reaction here. Uh, over this documentary. Over, and what about particular reaction? Because as you've covered this, Nala, you have spoken as well to the family of the young woman who's right at the heart of this documentary who was raped and then murdered. What did her family members say? Mm -hmm. As you can imagine, completely outraged by the interview and, and quite upset by the commentary. It is their daughter who perished in this, and um, they, they didn't take kindly to those comments. So the mother told us that she actually went to court when the news first broke about this documentary. She uh, lodged a complaint. It said that this should, this should never have been allowed. She told us that uh, this is his mentality. She's talking about Mr. Singh, that he has said those kinds of things in court where he mocked the family and was laughing while the proceedings were going on. The father told us that this sort of, uh, I guess, allowance of him speaking from jail is abusive uh, of the system, but also of all women, he said. And he encouraged every single woman um, to oppose it and to go to the prime minister and demand not only to ensure that they are kept safe, but also that they expedite this um, death penalty. So very angry about the commentary here. Nala, thank you very much. Nala Ayed from India Live this morning. The documentary banned in that country but is due to be aired in Denmark, Sweden, Switzerland and Norway as well as this country on this very network in fact. It airs 10 p.m. Sunday which is International Women's Day. You'll see it on The Passionate Eye. Here's a little bit more. <laughs> अगर कोई शरीफ लड़की होती है रात को नौ बजे मतलब नहीं होती है लड़के भी उतने उससे ज़्यादा ज़िम्मेदार हैं रेप के लिए ये लड़के हैं उससे ज़्यादा Nobody is a monster that he is excluded from society. After all.